Surprise, surprise! Well, this is the surprise that I had in store for you. A brand new look. Imagine a new year, a new beginning, a new dawn, a new look of course, and a new recipe. Well, today's recipe uses possibly one of the most popular and requested ingredients on the channel, and this is mutton. The recipe is mutton akbari. Hey guys, it's me, the Bombay Chef Varun Namdar, and welcome to Get Curry. Let's begin. Well, first things first, a wok on high flame. And into this, I'm going to add in some desi ghee. Let's add in some oil as well. This is regular vegetable oil. While the ghee is just kind of beginning to heat up, I'm going to add in salt in this. Well, this way, the meat especially gets wonderfully flavored from within. The first ingredient that immediately goes in after namak or salt is mutton. Now, mutton, of course, is goat meat. Chunks or sizes as you prefer, larger, smaller, completely personal. Just ensure that it's not boneless because a mutton with bone in a recipe like this works wonders. Now, all you need to do is boil this because that way you can cut down on the cooking time. Raw meat also works well, but for that you need to have, of course, time at hand. Let's add in the pieces of mutton. Let's add in paste of ginger and garlic. And give this a quick mix. While the meat is getting cooked, let's quickly slice some ripe tomatoes. Also, we're going to cut some green chilies and this one is not the spicy variety. Just cut these in like an inch pieces, like so. Let's have a quick check on the meat that's getting fried here in a combination of oil, ghee and salt, of course. It's turned golden brown in color. Let's add in these two ingredients, which now I want to take this to the next level. Let's stir this well. And we need to cook this on high flame till the tomatoes now turn nice and mushy. Of course, we're going to mash it a little, but that's where we're going to leave this. The tomatoes have become nice and mushy. All we're going to do is take a spatula or the back of a ladle and mash this up even further. That's where you get a wonderful, luscious gravy. Let's add in the next set of few ingredients. Beginning with dahi, a quick stir. We need to mix this well, but while mixing, or rather before mixing, or rather before adding the curd, what is important is to ensure that the curd is nicely whipped. Otherwise, the curd may convert into these lumps, which could be untoward. So remember this. Let's add in a few set of spices, beginning with turmeric powder. Moving on to chaat masala, black pepper powder, red chilli powder, just like a touch of it, not too much. Garam masala powder, again very little, not too much. And red chilli flakes. A quick stir. Ensure that the raw flavor of the spices kind of goes off. Once ghee starts releasing the sides of the pan, you're going to add in water to convert this into a little gravy. Whack the flame on high. Give this one quick stir. Allow this to come to a roll boil and we add in one final ingredient, lemon juice. Ensure you collect all the seeds well. Do not want untoward bitter bites in your mouth. Another quick stir. And with this, of course the flame. And finally, this goes straight in the serving bowl.
a beautifully aromatic recipe. Well, mutton, tomatoes, ginger, garlic, a basic few spices, just can't go wrong. With this, your mutton akbari is done and ready. Make this for family, make this for friends, and have a blast. Of course, it's a new year. Go all out and celebrate. Bye for now.